Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spurs career mode. In the last episode, if I can get to the bloody calendar, we did go against Aston Villa, Galatasaray, and also Ipswich and Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace was the highlight of the last episode. Bit of a slip up there, but things need to be changed and that has been addressed in the comments. We cannot be slipping up and making some silly losses like that. Hence why I've done some dramatic changes to tactics in this video. We've also had scenes where one of the comments suggested to convert Sun into the actual ST row, into the actual left wing row, which we have done. He will take up to about two weeks. But now getting on to the tactical, not tactical present, the team management here and getting to the tactics. It's still going to be the 4 2 1 3. However, it does say custom, but it is pretty much, if I can just show you, it will be pressing here. We want to press him a bit more. It was a specific suggestion. Through the minimal medium possession, we need to press him quite quicker. So why not try this formation out? Defense approach show is aggressive. I am going to drop that down into high. I don't think it needs to be 95. I think that'll be a bit too high there. And also, as you can see, Sun and Kukurez is pretty much gone into the weird positions here of changes. So maybe that's why in game we see that Kukurez goes to the left way. I don't know why it does that. Maybe because Sun has got the well the, the warning sign there because he actually isn't converted to left winger. But he does take two weeks to be now. So that should be sorted. The rest of it, though, will be good to go. It pretty much is good to go. In terms of the custom, it's just sometimes weirdly changing. It's a bit weird, and the same with Malice. They've done it again there, really strained. Why has it gone down to a half winger? We want him to be a playmaker because he gets the plus there as well, so it should be good to go indeed. However, yes, we like to save changes, but like I said, it's now time to get back into winning ways. We're going against Ipswich here, we cannot slip up anymore, so let's get into the lineups right here. Let's just sit in a couple of days and let's see if anyone pops up. No, nothing really pops up. Uh, interesting clash beacons between Tottenham and Hots Hotspur. All right, okay. Man United and Massimo ended one all. That's good for us there. So I've kind of analyzed here. They have got one player in their team in Amari Hodgson. That's quite good. The cam is pretty decent as well. And RC Davis, who was, I believe, in the championship team of the season. So it could be an interesting player to watch out for in the, the attack then when we go against him in the full back row. But let's get into the match day right here. Gonna go with the main team. Benching court has RC dropped down a little bit there. So we'll have to change him in terms of position. Or we do something custom tactic right here. But I'm hoping with the new tactics and playing implied with the uh, pretty much press game on, we should be absolutely fine. Hopefully we can start with a win here at the Tottenham Hotman Stadium. Let's see if we can see a dramatic change in Tottenham. Come on. So here we have then Spurs versus Ipswich. Let's see with the new tactics. Suggested from the comments pretty much. It's going to wear a bear and straight away we do well. Gukora's looking for the ball free straight away. But gets a bit fortunate and what a start. Terrible at the back end from Ipswich, and it's safe to say the tactic has already worked three minutes into the game. I was going to say Gregorius has been fantastic in the last episode, scoring some decent goals, and he's finally coming into his own a little bit now, I suppose. Getting a lot more goals. That was terrible defending right there, but we are going to take advantage of it. It's a P-rower, pretty much, but we get the goal. Come on. So, great start for Spurs there. Three minutes in, and we're already 1 0 up. That is what you like to see. But hopefully, like I said, we can continue on with this winning spree and do a little bit of bits here. Good ball down line, but we do get it back there with a mirror. Pedro Poro. Good pass there. Madison looking for out wide there for Human Son. Human Son running down this wing here. Human Son trying to cut inside. Does indeed. Tries to get the finesse shot off, but gets a bit fortunate. Gets back into a good It is two. We've got fortunate with both goals. But the number nine is running rampant. And he's doing the celebration like he did in the last episode. With the bird, the mascot on the side. Adoli with a high five as well. Two fortunate goals. But we'll take it. Son, good reaction time to hit it back to the striker. Top right corner. He has arrived. The man from Sporting. Great finish again. 2-0 already. Could be demolition jobbers. So 2 0 against Ipswich. It's only pretty much only took us two goals, really, to I feel like kill this game off already. It took pretty much 12 minutes to get two goals as well. I mean, it's a demotion job. I just want to clarify as well, I have not forgotten the uh, the comments about people were suggesting about signings for the teams. So it's because we're not in January yet. We can't really make them uh, changes just yet. Ball over the top of the pitch You've got to deal with that there. Davis heads it down. So Gory tried to put it down into a and core, but couldn't do it. Davis. And Pedro Poro does fantastic, but not the pass back there because it's a Hurst. A terrible from Mitch Richards. Reason why they're probably bottom of the league. Should have capped us on that. That was a bit poor for myself. Great ball from Sangori though to Adogi. Adogi. Just gets a. To be honest, it's a good challenge from 
Johnson there, Calvin Phillips there, the man that went to Manchester City pretty much for a free medal. Um, yeah, really didn't work out well from there, did it? I mean, what, I don't see why he needed to go there. I mean, they got Rico Lewis, Rodri in that DM row, and probably some other bowlers in that team. So there's no really reason, really. But you've got to give it to him, he's done well. But Human said some fantastic. They're doing defensive job, Sangori now. Heavy touch. Trying to get it inside to Benchin Cool there. Benchin Cool. Just fantastic there. Dogie. Into James Madison. James Manikers going to hit the rocket here. It's a good save. And Murek has to force out to the right. It's a good chance from uh, James Manners to force a corner. Sangari, a bit weak on stamina. Could get on side at half time. I think we will do that because then we're going to get a bit of a weaker team here. No offense to switch there. Good boy to make it back. No, it wasn't. It was the Quiz. It was very similar on the uh, to this camera angle. Yeah, still the suggested sub. I think we'll be all right for now, but like I said, I think we need to maybe make some subs at half time. Maybe a couple, to be fair. Tired legs. Also, you've got to remember as well, in this episode, if anyone records on the last one, and might have seen it on the calendar, we have got Manchester City. And I'm taking the back again. Oh, what are they doing at the back there? I'm just trying to sweat it because the heavy touch from Madison after that challenge put me off. But what are they doing at the back here? It's which are really struggling to just get the ball out. But yeah, like I was saying though, I mean, it's a massive game against Manchester City. So Gary does fantastic. The press has been fantastic here. And there's a boy there to Bayoko. Bayoko get the shot off now. Good save from Murek. And Itch, which really can't handle it. One from Romero. A player that could potentially depart in January. The people want to potentially see him gone because he isn't going to grow up because of the pace. Human son, good turn there, but the heavy touch really puts him off. And that ain't going to do it. Murek goes up high, and it will go out for half time. Two very, very early goals for Tottenham Hotspur. But like I said, we will take it. I mean, it's a good result so far. I feel like we're going to get the win here. That man we're going to keep on the pitch, because I feel like he's lingering for a hat-trick today, collecting the match ball once again for Spurs. But 2-0, great start for Tottenham Hotspur with these new tactics. <laughs> So the gentlemen, a triple sub from myself here. As you can see, Saar goes on the pitch, Brendan Johnson comes on the pitch, and also Ansu Fati in for the left wing spot. So both wingers and human son and Bayoko has gone off. And now we've got some of the younger lads on the pitch, especially Ansu Fati. And the saw Brendan Johnson, who's been fantastic in real life in my month. I thought not spread, probably one of the best players in the month, I'd say. Good pass there to Ansu Fati. A good pass through potentially for the gaffer for Kouros, but we just couldn't feather it in from Ansu Fati. Still looking to prove himself in the new Spurs colours, but hopefully we'll see him shine a bit more. He is the replacement of Hugh Min's son. So he needs to step up. Oh, not the best one there. I mean, in the last episode, I was a bit optimistic of sending potentially Romero because we might not be able to have the funds for Koku and another centre-back in a Solette. Perhaps also, like when we said, when we get rid of potentially maybe Sun, maybe, or Team of Verna, but I believe Team of is on loan. I have to I have to double check it. I'm not sure if the game is registered in or not. I'm not sure, but maybe I'm just being silly. But if we can get some more money and bring them both in, that would be fantastic. So we desperately need a rotational cam. As we as we all know, we're playing kind of Verna at the moment. Good movement there. No over top. Head down. It's good Cores. Good Cores on for a potential hat trick here. And he finesse it into the right hand corner. And I did think this guy would get his hat-trick today. Brendan Johnson with the assist. Bottom right-hand corner. Tidy finish for our new number nine. It was Harry Kane. But now we have Good Correz. He is the main man for this team. Great tidy finish right there. And I think Kirk has for Indogi. Slots it past the keeper. Tidy finish. Come on. So a hat-trick hero from the main man up top. Is what we like to say. Calvin Phillips it. Plays it into Hutchison. I'm Ari Hutchison. And Johnson. He's in by here. Give him a hit, Johnson. Well done there. Well done. And Ansu Fatty. Good pass there. Took a chorus and he could be through again here. But Brendan Johnson could be on the run there. We're just trying to somehow feather that in. Saw that. Good movement, just trying to bounce the pass there. Couldn't do it, but can he win it back here? He does win it back, and Kukura is just through again here. Can he get another goal? It falls down. Oh, and it's just couldn't finish it. I was hoping Ansu Fat would get that there, but unlucky. Oh, I've absolutely crunched him. I've absolutely snapped him. You'll love to see it. Brexit football and myself there. 
Oh, and Moisey gets a bit of a revenge on his teammate there. That could have been a red card, to be fair. That was very, very dangerous. Papi Matasa gets the card here today. Don't think we're going to get a replay on that. We might do. That was very bad, wasn't it? That should have been probably a red, yeah, right on the ankles. If you flipped him over. Not the best there. So he's got to be careful because he is one of our rotational players. Obviously, we have got Hoiberg back from loan as well. We've recorded him back, as suggested. Benchin Cool running through here. Oh, this is unbelievable. Surely a solo goal for Benchin Cool. And that is fantastic. They let him run into the gap. And it's his first goal of the season. He's just P-rolled in. He's just feathered it into the right side. Kind of like Gregorius' third goal to secure his hat trick. But no one's closing. They're diving in, trying to catch up with him. He's left a massive gap. And it's an easy finish. The tactics are working. But can they do it against Manchester City later in the episode? We'll have to wait and see. But a great finish to secure four for Spurs. So the 83rd minute, we secure our fourth goal. Is this our highest scoring game, I feel like? Well, I'll win anyway this season. And we could be on for more here. Madison, good turn. And now we're through again with Brendan Johnson. Oh, it's hit the bar. Unlucky from Johnson. Madison potentially with the assist there. We have got another substitution in Vernon for Madison. Why not? That would have been a cracker of a finish, but unlucky. Chaplin comes on. One of the danger man who's been very quiet. Chaplin on the ball now. Mori Hudson. Trying to get past Kudakez. Won't be allowed. And I think it will end. And to be fair, the ref might play it on here. Good course with a good touch there, but Julian Zembu denies him his fourth potentially of the game. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. 4-0 to kick off this episode against Hitchwich at our home stadium. The new tactics have worked blinders. We're way more aggressive. We're winning the ball a lot more comfortably. And that's what we want to see. That is what we want to see. Victor Krakor is there. Five attempts and a hat-trick here. Some tidy finishes. Two early goals led this game and pretty much killed this game off straight away. And then the second half, we just got the job done. We go with the finish line. Benji Krakor with the one as well. We continue on. So here we have it then. It is the big one. It is Manchester City versus Tottenham right there. We've got a new position for Human Son, so now he should go to that right in there, which is pretty much the same, line, to be honest. But we've just got to crease up a little bit here. We'll go for a target forward because I feel like that's going to be the one that's, uh, well, grows him up the highest. So any other tasks here? Let's have a look. Three unread messages. Let's have a look here. Some position. No, nothing really coming up, to be honest. Opponent analyst, though. Here we go. Haaland. Savinio, De Bruyne, Doku, Kovacic, who had a storm at the other day against Fulham, Ruben, Rico Lewis, Akanji, Garvado, and Edison. And it looks like they haven't made any new signings. Oh, they have made Memphis Depay there in the bottom right hand corner. But this is the team to watch out for. This, if we win this game, could be a bit of a mad one indeed. Because as you can see with the league table, they are just behind us. Same points to be fair. But we need this. It looks like Everton have finally lost. And it looks like Arsenal, Michael Otetta's team, Michael Otetta's team, sorry, is finally getting the job done. But we need to get wins under our belt. And this is a big one indeed. If we can get the win of the Etihad here, I think we could do bits here. It's going to be the main team. This team beat Ipswich 4-0. No offense to Ipswich, but Man City are levels above them. It's going to be a lot harder here. But can we do it? I believe we can at the Etihad Stadium. Let's go for it. So here we have it then. Manchester City. Versus Spurs, Victor Krakores versus Erlen Haaland. Which Scandinavian is going to come out on top here today? Let's find out. Jack Grealish looking to pounce past Pedro Poro. He kind of does. He does well there. Rodri. De Bruyne. Haaland going for the shot. And Man City looking like the threat so far. Erlen Haaland having a sniff a go already. And it's only been five bloody minutes. Reno Romero to body him, to be honest. Even if it's him getting a red card this game. Oyoko there, making the runs a good ball with the top. And it will go down. Oh, he's kept it in, to be fair. Inside there. Benji could go for the shot now. Look, look. Oh, not a bad effort, to be fair. Unlucky, though. De Bruyne into Rodri here. Again, the lineups. I'm, I'm pretty confident. Like Jack Grealish and stuff, they were all on the line there on the bench, but now they're starting. It's a bit, it's a bit strange. I don't know. 
Benching call. Fakes it there. Now back into Dogi, but just gets it, but not past Rico Lewis, but Sun does well. And guess who's through on goal? It's Victor Kokores. Surely he buries it today, and he does. He doesn't go for the bottom right this time. He goes for the bottom left. Again, defensive errors from the CPU. The AI have had an absolute mare this episode. First with Ipswich. And now this one here. But I think it all comes down to the new tactic of the pressing. They can't handle it. As soon as they get the ball back, we're on them like a bloody leech. We put it underneath the left arm of Edison. It's an easy finish. And once again, he's doing bits. So go for Tottenham Hotspur here. It is going to be Victor Kokoros once again. City need to retaliate now. They can't really afford this loss, to be honest. Grealish into Kovacic, who had a fantastic game against Fulham the other day, scoring two good goals. Got to give it to him. Guard as well, Poro just try to get it over there, but did get closed out quite comfortably. Jack Grealish does well. Good point to Erlen Halland and Mickey van der Ven. And we can't get out. Let's try and look up the pitch there. Good pass and then Halland, Halland! Good save from Macario. Great save from Macario right there. Halland should be doing better there. That was his moment to get a goal back for City. That's who they rely on. Madison does well. We have got a sub ready for Van Drang Guzan, which is a bit of a weird one. Hopefully we can go into the second half and one nil up. And not bother here. Madison does well. Does well to actually just get it out and just draw a, a throw in, to be honest. Madison, there's a ball right over the top, and he will find it. And the doggy does hit it down to Hume Min Sun. Sun, good movement there. Inside to James Madison. James Madison trying to find the right hand side there. Madison wins it back, though. Hume Min Sun. Trying to bounce past, trying to find a better option. I think he was trying to get it onto that amazing foot of his. Couldn't get it though. Bernardo. Sangari again. Fantastic from him. Romero. He's a header down there to a dogi. And a dogi is on side, I believe. But what can he do for it? Bioko is in the middle. Into Poro. Petro Poro. Trying to find a bit of an angle here. There's a ball for the gap there. We do find it. Goes into Kokoros. Could have maybe shot that. Probably should have actually. Should have just kept running there. A good ball from Madison. Finding the player through the gap. But we'll take it though. 1-0. We're going into the second half. Again, Tottenham Hotspur. But we need to kill the game now. That's what we need to do. We've been playing beautifully up top. Defensively, we've been doing okay as well. But this is Manchester City. They can get a goal from nothing. Especially at the Etihad. Well, gentlemen, into the second half. No changes from myself. I don't feel like I really need to, and I'm entitled to, to be fair, considering how well we have been playing. Not the best ball there, though. I will say that. Won it to a doggy. Locked onto human son. Not impressed at all. Reclus could cut back there. Benching cool. Into Erlen Haaland. Just watch Kevin De Bruyne. Erlen Haaland! Oh! And I thought that was in. I thought Vicario just couldn't get his hand to it. Enrico Lewis now goes off for Maria de Oliveira. All right, where's uh, no Carl Walker? Maybe injured. But I thought that was in. From the anger we had, it looked like that was going to go in. Corres was making the run, but kind of backed off. Petro Pora now. Well, Yoko could go for the shot. Here. Oh, what a finish that would have been. Hits the roof of the net on that left foot. I'm not going to make that save. Kovacic goes off the pitch now for Gundogan. But that was so close. I mean, they hit the roof of the net. What a strike that would have been to get the second goal. Maybe the goal of the season if that went in. And what a game to do it against Manchester City at the A yard. Pressure again there. That should be Oz. And we do with Hume Min Sun. Hume Min Sun got a bit of a gap for Hume Min Sun. A good save from Edison. Surely the second goal comes. I'm going to get Kudakez on there for a doggy there. Fresh legs in the fullback is what we definitely need against our dangerous wingers. James Madison. Swings into the ball. Mickey van der Ven is there. We try and go back out wide. We do. With Madison. Madison. Trying to get a bit of a room here. We all know what's going to come here. May Madison. And Edison. Good save again. Really just keeping them in. 
Benchinko into Madison. Boyoko there, find a bit of a gap. Boyoko! Oh, it's gone over, but it is offside. So I've got to come on the pitch here. Just delayed it a little bit. And he just was trying to run back, to be fair. Still 1 0. How? We're not 2 0 up here. Who goes up? Halland. Could be offside there, but Graves is on and Pedro Poor has been beaten. Pedro Poor and Graves is there. What a challenge. Him and Mickey van der Ven this season have been outstanding. And the yeah, yeah, they're not happy with that. They probably thought that could have been a pen, but I won the ball. I took the gamble. And it paid off. Romero, good pass, but he's not really the guy to pass the ball. And Grish will intercept that there. James Madison hovering over Grealish. And they can definitely hold the ball back if they want to. As we are still winning this game. And this will be a massive three points on the way to the Etihad. Turning and twisting there. Erlen Hallen, terrible pass from himself there. And that could be costly. Because good call is... Oh, he's just offside. I did see it. That's why I pulled him back. Bit of a weird one there. He made the run and he knew he was offside. And then he eventually did come back. I don't know. That's a bit strange there. He didn't really give me a decent option there. So that needed to be better from him there. The run wasn't as clean. After triggering the LBY to... Tell the player to run. A first minute in now, and this is where Manchester City will throw all their bodies to it. We're not going to go for the default one there. We're going to go defending. And as you can see, we are just going to pit back a little bit here because we are only one nil up, and we need to just. If it's going to stay like this. We need to kind of secure this win here. Erlen Haaland to take him down. That's why I like to say, why not take him down? And Mickey Van der Ven will receive a card here. And I didn't like the way Hallam was kind of getting away the body there. I felt like he could have potentially turned someone and ran and go. Hence why we just brought him down. Why not? Jack Grish goes off the pitch for Memphis to play. I'm going to get a player on the line because Kevin De Bruyne can bang these here. He can save from Macario, but it does fall to Salvinio. Salvinio into Mikel Gundogan here. Rodri, well, well done. Oh, well done, Romero. All down the line there. And now, this could be something on here. Good pass in there to Victor Kukurez. And Kukurez could kill the game here. Kukurez! It's him again. And that is game setting match. The Etihad of booing. We was ratty taking down Haaland, but we got him on the counter attack. And it's him again. He wins the battle over Erling Haaland. He's had a stinker. But we made the right sign in this season. An assist as well for Madison again. Dynamic duo. Easy win. Come on. And that will be the game set in match. Like I said, after the second goal, we knew it was game over. It was right on the last kick of the game. And as you can hear, the boos are massive. At the Etihad it is echoing around the world that Tottenham Hotspur have demolished. Manchester City, thanks to that man again, scoring all the goals. The team, the new tactics are working blinders. And it's showing it. We've been the best team in the world. 2 0 away. We'll take that. So, ladies and gentlemen, after that amazing win against Manchester City, we have now got the league phase in Roma versus Tottenham. And this needs to be a win here. So let's get into the match day right here. I'm actually going to start some of the main players, but I am going to rotate it a little bit because people do deserve to play as well. So I think what we're going to do is Johnson in for Bayoko here. And we're also going to do Spence in for Pedro Poro. And I think, to be honest, I think we're going to get Hoiberg in for Sangar because of the overall and a bit of rotation right there. But the rest of the team I'm going to stick with because we definitely need the result here. Let's see if we can get the win on the highlight against AC Roma. So here we are then back at this amazing stadium of Tottenham Hotspur. But can we beat Roma? We have to get some wins in the Europa League here. Cross to be true for Spurs here. This is a good start. Let's see if we can do something here. Can we get with the ball with the top there for Gokores. It's a good ball with the top there. We cannot get it off. But yeah, it does forward to Brendan Johnson. But it goes down as a loose ball. Spurs attack in the 10th minute here. Let's see if we can get a goal potentially from this. Brendan Johnson is lingering on that right-hand side. There's a ball over the top there. It does go over the top of him, but it's just a bit too short. We may have got a solo goal, though, and I believe it's with Hume Min Sun. But once again, who would guess 
Kokoras could be through on goal here. And he is going to be through on goal. It's Victor Kokoras. Can he get the shot off now? He does. We took it a bit delayed. But I'm just so confident that this guy is just going to score when he's through on goal. And on one-on-one, -on -one, he doesn't miss. What a player so far he's been this season. But let's continue on. A good strike there. Penny kick for Roma. They retaliate back in the 21st minute. And there's Dudbeck here. I believe the Ukrainian, the new signing, who's been fantastic for Genoa last season. And it goes in. I believe he played for Genoa. But a great strike there. And they're back in it here. Boos at the stadium here. Spurs looking to bounce back and get back into the winning way here in this game. Good ball there. Brent Johnson over the top there. Can he go for the first time shot? He does with Ryan. The human son. And it gets blocked. Unlucky corner kick for Spurs. 50th minute here. Could have took a stretch over with Brendan Johnson, but I just felt confident on that volley. He could have done some of it, especially with the way he's been playing in real life at the moment. Ball into the box there. It's a good ball. And it just goes wide from Benjamin Core. Could have got his second of the evening. Well, I'll say evening in the video. 59th minute now. Still looking to get something here, but Roma have got any got a chance with Sunset here. Christian C into Pellegrini. Does well there. It was a weird shot there, and the Corio has to catch it. We do get a bit of a glitchy counter attack here, which we couldn't capitalise. Ah, we couldn't do it. Not the best header down there. Penny kick for Roma. This isn't good. 63rd minute, and it's Dovbeck again. How's this happened? Vicario, can he save us one this time? And he doesn't. It goes the same way. Got to keep going here. And it ends. The game ends 2-1 to Roma on the highlight. Oh, that is not good at all. It's one of them. It is one of them. The highlight has favoured Roma with the pennies. And, uh, yeah. Artem Dudz back there with three attempts, two goals at the Tottenham Stadium. The highlights have done us. The game's done us. But it is what it is. On the cup runs, we do play highlight games. And if it doesn't go our way, it doesn't. But what does that mean for us in the Europa League? So, ladies and gentlemen, our last game of this episode will be against Fulham at home. But before we get into that, though, we are just want to be a bit intrigued to see what has happened with the actual table now with the Europa League. Because, also, we just lost that game there. What is the crack? Because we are 15th and I'm not too sure. Is it the top seven or I'm not too sure? Unless it's a playoff round. I'm not too sure how it works. But we need to get some wins, man. Because at the moment, we've played five, one, two, drew two and lost one. We need to get our form up in the Europa League. Let's have a look when our next game is. We've got Rangers and then we've got Hoffenheim. And all right, okay. So we pretty much got three games left. We need to win all three. We have to win all three and then just hope and pray that really... Some teams bob. I believe there is a playoff round. I'm not too sure. You have to correct me if I'm wrong. But here we go. The last game of this episode. Fifth versus tenth in Fulham. Once again, we are at home. As you can see, though, both defenders looking pretty tired. So we're going to make some changes there. And I think, to be honest, with Van der Ben, I think he needs to stay on the pitch. Trancuza needs to come on the pitch right there. The rest of the team, I think, has been okay. I kind of liked how... Brendan Johnson played when he came on that highlight one there. Seemed a bit more open space. So we're going to start him over by Oko this game here today. But other than that, I think we're going to just go with this here. With the main man, good chorus, and Madison They're doing the bits as well. And Human Son having a decent episode as well. But we've got to keep an eye on Van de Ven there. If he gets a bit tired, which he probably will whilst we take him off. Which, if that's the case actually, we might do our little tactic that we do. We'll take off Dean Henderson. Actually, no, we won't because that could be a bit risky if our keeper gets injured. Which is very unlikely. But we get Hoiberg, so we do our situation when we play him as centre-back. And he has done okay there when we have played him. But we could do it. Let's get the first win in December. First of December. Can we kick off a win and end this episode with a win? Bounce back from the Europa League. Loss against Roma. Let's do it against Fulham. Come on. So here we have it then. The Spurs versus at home to Fulham. So let's see if we can beat Fulham at home. Let's see if we can do it here. I think we can. I mean, if we could beat Manchester City away at the Etihad. And we're back at home staying him against a weaker side. You expect it. Metroporo. Got a bit of a gap in to take a shot and he will take a shot. He's hoping on his right foot there so he can kind of swerve. But we all know he can shoot and that power he's got is ridiculous. He absolutely fired it. Wins against us here, but it's a good delivery in. Good core is going for the arrow back. Pedro Poro. 
going back out wide here. Can he get it over the box? Goes back post, to be fair. Keeps it in. Johnson, good turn. Goes into Sangari. Oh, unlucky. We're looking fiery. A lot of shots had go already. Well, a goal out in for Sangari for his first goal. Venture Core cool getting a goal and then Sangari. Same episode it would be quite nice. That's oh, so nice. That is there. Uh, and this could be another chance here. James Madison turning and twisting. James Madison, he gets pulled down. That should have been a foul there if anyone saw. He didn't slip over. He actually got attacked by number seven. Probably won't throw this shot off, to be fair. I was looking for a top round corner with a finesse shot. Couldn't get it off, though. Mitchell Pora, that's yours. That probably is going to be a yellow card. I thought I can kind of wrap my foot around it. But Pedro Poro will get the yellow card here so far. Only took 20 minutes. We need to slow down a little bit. The temples are too high. The Coras does the job on top and defence as well. There could be a ball there from Madison. Good ball in the human son. Being quiet. But he gets them past there. Human son trying to bounce past everyone. Try to look for that finesse shot trait there. Just need to get past the player. And I think we could have got it. The iconic human son cutting inside. It's unlucky. That's got to be ours there. Well done. Good play. Intervention call. Out right, wide there. There's a pass for James Madison again. But it goes into Pedro Poro. Can we get into the back post for Human Son? It's unlucky. Again. Pedro Poro. Good pass inside to Kakura. Can he get the finesse shot? Good save from Leno. What a save. The former Arsenal man. Does fantastic against his old rival right there. I've got to say. Great save. Madison. Sangori's there and it goes over the bar. How have we not scored? How have we not scored so far? We've been dominant. So many chances. You can see that Sangori, Johnson, Sangori, Madison, Kapoor is in the fair yard. How have we not scored? I don't know. But it's coming. Benching call. Right down there. I was trying to find it. I couldn't do it. Oh, here comes Fulham to be fair. Quick snappy play from them for that centre there. I like that. Harry Wilson. Christine, that's got to be... Oh, he's done well to get past in there. Now Fulham, out of nowhere. Bad head back there. And it just goes wide. Unlucky. Well, Yoko, not going to do that yet. Going to go short, we always do. He's probably the preferred option with this team. Oh, Udogi, that's not where I wanted that pass. That's not where I wanted it. Well, thank God. For me, the, the player, the defensive player of the season, the Mickey van der Ven, saves the day. Boy, 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 look how deep they're looking at the moment. Pedro Poro. Trying to bounce past. He does, but again, the wrong pass. Human son was on that left-hand side. All on his lonesome. And I believe if he had that, a finesse shot in the top right corner could have been on the cards. But it goes to the wrong player. Game. You did it with Roma to me. You mugged me off there. Stop mugging me off now. Give me to the right players. But we've been playing well. I'm so confident we'll get a go in the second half. But nil nil against Fulham. So, ladies and gentlemen, two changes. And a surprising one in Dominic Solanke comes on for Gokouris. Gokouris was doing okay this game, but I want to rest him. And to be honest, Solanke has been in good when he has been playing. And also, Hoiberg comes in for Mickey van der Ben at the centre-back. Because we did see before the game, he was tired. And he has done a role there before. And done fantastic. Good play this. I went up there over there. That's a foul ref. The ref hasn't done anything about it. Johnson, got to get that pass off quicker. I'm surprised that wasn't a foul. The, the fans reacted. The ref didn't do anything to it. Let's take our next game in the next episode. For the first game, actually, is against Bournemouth away on the December the 4th. Should be a decent win there. Solanke going against his former team should be a bit interesting as well. If he does start, we'll come on. Good play there. Human son. Does well. Gives it to a Adilgi. Into Madison. James Madison. Can he find Brendan Johnson? He does. Brendan Johnson goes for a, a bit of an audacious kick there. Bernardo gets down well. Still looking for that goal. Pedro Poro now. Good pull back there. Benching call. Could potentially hit this there. Benching call gets blocked there. Madison heads it down to Dominic Solanke. Pedro Poro trying to bounce past Robertson, but couldn't do it. Proton in the 70th minute now, still cannot get a goal here. 
play this. Harry Wilson, good shot, goal here. Vicario puts it down to his feet and catches the ball quite nicely. Good play this from Tottenham. They're coming again here. Come on, we've got to get a goal eventually here. It's a good play this. Go a bit more direct. Benchenko, we see him do this before. Benchenko, get the shot off now. It's a good block go from Basie there. That looked like it could have been it. Up we go. Son. Human son. Out of the way. Finesse short, but it's still full. Can we get the shot off? No, it's finesse short. Oh, what's going on? Oh, why did it red time? I've got it turned off. Oh, someone would have banged that in as well, for God's sake. Failed throw. They don't want it. Why have we not won this game so far? Frustration from the manager. James Madison. Someone comes short. We need it. Dominic Solanke. It's got to be here. Human son! And there it is. The skipper finally gets his shot. And we finally get a goal against Fulham. It was opening up, but we took it late here. Solanke in the sun. I'm surprised they didn't get blocked. I thought it was going to be with that player. The rocks in top left-hand corner. And we finally get the goal. About time. So Hume Min Sun finally, and Spurs finally get the goal. It's what we like to see. We might not be done yet. Solanke into Brendan Johnson. <laughs> what a save. I mean, a Timmy Topo, but what a save from Lonely. He's made some cracking saves this game. Ball into the box there. Not the best. Benching cool. Could run down it. Ball into the back post. Dominic Solanke. Oh, what a goal. That would have been the wrap of the episode. And I think that's going to be it. Dominic Solanke thinks he's bloody Ronaldo for Juventus in the Champions League. That would have been an unbelievable strike. Goal of the season so far. If that just went into one of the corners, but he put it down central. But I've got to give it to Bernd Leno. Yes, he conceded. But he's no way saving that. But he kept full a minute from being about 3 or 4, or maybe 5 nil this game. But in regards to that, we played beautifully. But we just got to be a bit more direct through the centre. And a bit more consistent in this game. But we've got the three points due to that man right there. The captain steps up. And that's what a captain should do. Lead the team by example and get the win. Especially with an attacker. But 1-0 thanks to Son against Fulham to end the episode with a win. Come on. So as you know, that is going to wrap up this position. As you can see, we've got a message from Hoiberg and Boyoko there. But we'll get into that into the next episode. As you can see there, though, we are now second in the league against our rivals, Arsenal, who are just one point ahead. So... When that happens, when that derby comes up again, that could be mad impressive indeed if we can get the win there. It'll be a world game indeed. But like I said, what an episode indeed. We'll just get to the counter and have a look at the games we have played this episode. Starting off against Ipswich, 4-0 demolition job with the new tactics and we continued that on against Manchester City, which is a huge win. Disappointed against Roma though, that's the bit of the one where I'm a bit worried now because we want to progress that and potentially go on to win that competition. But we need to stop bowling games. They've got a bit unfair there from EA having two pens to Roma on the highlight, but it is what it is. And then we ended it on the win against Fulham. In the next episode, though, we have got Bournemouth, then Chelsea, which is a massive game going against Cold Cole Palmer, who, is, for me, is probably, I'm going to say it, probably the best player in the Premier League right now. Ridiculous. Rangers, and then we end on Southampton at way. Then, like I said, we're getting very close to January this gentlemen. Maybe one or two more episodes and we will be hitting it. Then, that could be a bit intriguing. There's Arsenal right there away at the AAD State. Not the AAD there, the Emirates, sorry. Could be intriguing indeed. But other than that, a fantastic episode indeed. Got Bournemouth next one there in second position against 19. Should be getting the win there in the next episode. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.